Welcome to the Scottish Rite Cathedral, a beautiful venue located right in downtown Indianapolis and home to our New Year's Eve wedding celebration. This wedding reception will also be a New Year's Eve celebration. Guest numbers are expected to total near 100. There will be a small number of close family, friends, and co-workers of the bride and groom. An interesting group, all interested in many different foods, with unique and open minds, and ready to try great things. As mentioned, this event will be extremely unique as it will double as a celebration to invite in a new year as well as a celebration of a new couple. Right away, guests will have the opportunity to participate in the New Year's Eve spirit. New Year's hats, horns, balloons, and other festival items will be graciously spread across the room. Much of the event space will be decorated in tones of gold, silver, and many sparkly things. Candles will line the walkways and be strategically placed in areas to create a beautiful and romantic yet exciting atmosphere for the guests to enjoy. Each of the tables will be covered in a sequin gold and silver tablecloth. On top of the tablecloth will be gold decor and gold charger plates. To help keep that New Year's Eve theme alive and well while guests enjoy dinner. In addition to the gold accessories on top of the tables, to keep in line with the New Year's Eve theme, clocks will be used as centerpieces to reflect New Year's Eve and timeless love. The Scottish Rite Cathedral has a timeless vibe on its own. It just adds to the flair of our New Year's theme. Table numbers will be used for our guests. They will be New Year's resolutions. Catchy, right? There will be a DJ to play music throughout the evening and keep our guests energized and on the dance floor. When the bride and groom take the floor for their first dance, our live band will be introduced. We are using a local band named Blue Water Kings Band. There are a variety of bands specializing in new hip songs as well as classic and jazz. They will perform strategically throughout the event, but especially as the bride and groom take the floor as a new couple for the first time. In addition to the New Year's Eve theme, the goal of this event is to provide a warm and comfortable environment. Our meal will reflect that. Our meal will start with two appetizers. These appetizers will be served by waiters as our guests socialize. The first will be a mini grilled cheese sandwich with a tomato soup shooter. Our second appetizer choice will be more for the elaborate taste. It is a bacon wrapped fig stuffed with goat cheese and roasted pecans. To keep things interesting there is a third option. However it will remain during the entire meal a mashed potato bar. At the potato bar, guests will be able to create mashed teenies. They will be served in martini glasses and they will be able to top them with their own creative desires. There will be an arrangement of toppings, everything from chopped bacon and ham, chives, sour cream, butter, shredded cheeses, pecans, brown sugar, 
cinnamon, syrup, you name it. The bride and groom have selected a cranberry crush as a specialty drink. It's a spiced rum, a ginger beer, and cranberry juice blend. This is the perfect drink to complement the meal since it has a warm and crisp taste and flavors that represent the holidays. This will be a great drink to celebrate a New Year's Eve wedding celebration. The salad option for this meal will be a warm butternut squash salad with hazelnuts. It's a mix of lettuce with chopped and sauteed butternut squash with hazelnuts dressed in a rich hazelnut oil dressing. This salad is perfect for this meal because it is warm and it does include hints and flavors of cinnamon and nutmeg that ties right along with the holidays and our theme of warm and comfort foods. Our first entree option is a set of crab cakes on top of lemon wedge with a nice horseradish sauce on the side. The second option is a roasted chicken with rosemary and lemon. Since the mashed potato bar will be an ongoing thing, the two starch items will be a choice of a couscous salad that has shredded lettuce, Roma tomatoes, and fresh corn drizzled in olive oil and an arrangement of fresh seasonings. A second option will be a very classic rice pilaf. The choice entree and the starch side will be served with a mix of roasted root vegetables. And finally, dessert. There will be two options for dessert. The first will be hazelnut butter cake with sea salt and caramel drizzle. The second option will be pound cake with Grand Marie and poached apricots with a nice fresh cream on top. After guests have enjoyed their meal and danced the night away, the celebration will end with a confetti bar. The confetti bar will be made of an assortment of different colors and textures of confetti that guests will be able to create themselves and hang on to for the send-off of the bride and groom at the end of the celebration.